You should we correct that now? Yes, we. Okay, Charlie has a correction. By, it's by Fentron. I I couldn't do that. That was the one. lilac bush conversation. Yeah, the okay. lilac bush conversation by Fentron. B i f e n t h r i n, and and actually that's what you want to spray your burning bush with now, because your burning bush later on in the season will start showing a browning of the top of the uh, uh, plant, and you'll say, what can I do? What caused it? And uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, a thrip. I think it's a thrip, but what you do is you spray now with bifenthrin, and you won't have that problem later in the summer. Is that something you have to mix? No. Uh, well, you mix it with water. Okay. Mix yeah, it with just water. Just mix it with it water. Says, uh, it says so on the very, and it's very, it's a very safe insecticide. Good. Yeah. Well, Charlie, Mike is on the phone for you this morning. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning. Yeah, I'd like to know how to get rid of moles without doing damage to the earthworms. Okay, uh, without doing damage to the earthworm, or uh, because eighty-five percent of their diet is earthworms, so you want to get rid of the moles so they don't take your supply of earthworms that aerate the soil and do all kinds of good things for us. Uh, what I have recommended of late is the simple wire tech mole eliminator. Rural King has a knockoff of it, and I haven't heard how good that works, but I know you can get one from Rural King. Anybody else, if, you, if you're a retail salesman, let us know, and we'll be more than happy to say that you offer it too. Uh, but you can go to Amazon and look up WireTech, W-I-R-E dash T-E-K, mole eliminator. It costs about $28 a piece. You can use them forever. But the reason they work so good is they slice the mole in half. It's, it's almost sharp tongs underneath. But you set it simply by pushing your foot down on the step, and it's set. That's how easy it is. And from all the accounts back to me, when I've recommended that, they can't believe how easy it is to catch moles in their yard now. But then you've got to remove the dead carcass out of that thing to set it again. I would suppose you do. Yeah. I mean, somebody's got to. Yeah, that's right. That's, it wouldn't that's be me. Exactly right. Just so you know, it wouldn't <laughs> be me. <laughs> Well, what else can he do besides the try that? Because well, you, you've got I mean, the, you've talked about castor oil or castor. This is the or this is the funniest story. But you've got the you've got the little Matamco worms that look like mimic actual earthworms, the red wigglers, and you can put those in where they've got a heavy metal zinc phosphide in them that that will kill the mole once he eats it because he thinks it's a, an earthworm, and but the bad part about that is they're finding owls now that have oh, eaten. that have eat that see. They, they see what we don't see, and they see that dead mole above the ground, and they eat it, and they're finding that zinc phosphide in the owls. So I can't really recommend botanical worms anymore. WireTech. Yeah, <laughs> WireTech mole eliminator. We have another caller on the phone for you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie. This is Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. I have these purple violets all through the yard. What's the best thing to put on them to get rid of them? Okay. Things? <laughs> you can take the root a lot of people take and use clover and chickweed. Clover and uh, clover and chickweed control. It's 2,4-D and dicamba. Look for something on the active ingredient on the label that says 2,4-D and dicamba, Okay. Before you put that down, strangely enough, we go back to borax. Mix about four ounces of borax in about four to five ounces of warm water. Make a slurry. Then put that in a gallon and a half of water. That will cover about a thousand square foot of lawn area. You spray first all of your violets with that borax mix. Borax. Wait five days. Then put down your clover and chickweed control, and you will get rid of your violets or your creeping Charlie. And do they hurt anything, the violets? Do they take up grass no, space? No, I mean we look at them as weeds because we want grass. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they're not wanted. All right. Yeah. Well, it's always an education to sit by you, Charlie. <laughs>
And Charlie will be back on next Monday, but he'll be on Daybreak on I'll be Friday, on Friday, too. Yep. So if you have more questions, you can yep. call him then. And you can also watch Hey Garden Guy. because Hey I know Garden he Guy, Charlie Stocker. We've got some neat, neat videos new coming videos. up this afternoon. Okay. Yep. Thanks, Charlie. Thank we'll you. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this.